Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted any videos. I apologize, we've been super busy. Um, as many of you know, well those of you that follow me on Instagram probably know that my husband has signed to play basketball over in Greece. So we are in the middle of packing up the house and getting things ready to move overseas. So today's video is going to be about medications that I pack for my son um, that we bring with us. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first item that I bring with me is these vitamin D3 drops. Some kids don't get enough sun and don't get the vitamin from the sun. And so um, these are a great alternative. They're gluten-free, soy-free, don't have any preservatives. So this is what the box looks like. And vitamin D3 is good for bone health, uh, teeth health, cardiovascular health, immune system support, and growth and development. So we usually give Kai a drop a day. So that's vitamin D3. Please make sure that you see your doctor, your pediatrician before giving your child any of the medications that I'm speaking about. Some infants and some children might be allergic to some of these medications, so just because it works for my baby, it might not work for yours. So please be cautious and um, ask your doctor before giving your child anything new. Okay, second thing that I bring with us overseas for my son is this Frida Baby Nose Frida. And it's a snot sucker saline kit. I know it sounds pretty disgusting, but it's been highly recommended to me by many, many moms, which I trust. So the kit includes one aspirator, natural saline spray, and hygiene filters, so replacements. It helps loosen up dry, um, dry boogers, and so that will allow for snot to come out. So if they're congested and they need some help, this is the best product to have for that. Next thing that we bring with us is this concentrated Motrin infant drops. So this is a pain reliever and a fever reducer and you can use it if your child is at least six months old up to 23 months. So on the package, if you look on the side here, you have a dosing chart. So based on how much your uh, infant weighs, you can look up how much to give in terms of the dose. And it comes with a little syringe as well. Um, so make sure that you use the correct syringe with the correct medication because some of them are different size. So whatever syringe comes with the box, use it for that medication only. Okay, up next is this Pedialyte powdered packet. So this helps with dehydration in case my son has vomiting, diarrhea, or uh, possible heat exhaustion, things like that that would cause him to be dehydrated. Um, all you do is mix one of these packets with some water and then I would pour it in a bottle for him to take. Next up are these two products that are essential, I feel like, in everybody's diaper bag. So it's a diaper rash cream and it looks like this. This is 40% uh, zinc oxide always have this on hand. Another great product for diaper rash is this vitamin A and D ointment. It looks like this. And this helps with cracked skin. It helps prevent diaper rash. It's also good for protection for little cuts or scrapes. I'm pretty sure everybody has this in their diaper bag, but I like to have extra when I travel, so I buy everything brand new to take with us. All right, moving on. I know a lot of kids might have allergies and Allergy season is around the corner. This is another product that I bring with us overseas. It's the children's Benadryl for allergies. So runny eyes, itchy eyes, runny nose, you know, all those symptoms. So next up we have Highlands Baby. It's a day and night value pack. It's homeopathic. It helps loosen mucus. It helps relieve congestion. It has no artificial flavors, dyes, or parabens. It's homeopathic, natural relief stuff. All right, next we have Zarbi's Naturals. It's a soothing saline nasal mist that has aloe. It helps moisturize and flush out baby's nose, which if they get congested and, you know, if they're having trouble breathing, um, I can use the nose Frida that I talked about earlier and also some of this spray, and it should help relieve it. It looks like this. 
So it also says that it's good for infants and adults. You never know if you might need it for yourself. It has no drugs, no alcohol, and no preservatives. Sterile, safe, and gentle for frequent use. All right, moving on, we have gripe water. So this product is great mostly for stomach discomfort, you know, tummy aches, tummy pains, colic, gas, things like that. And it looks like this, gripe water. So next up, I have two more products that are a must-have. They're not medications, but more so tools. Uh, one is this digital thermometer, and the brand is called Mateen. Not sure how to pronounce it. It is used in the ear. You can also check your temperature on the forehead, and you would just take off the cap like this and check it in the ear. You just push the button, and it gives you a number. Oh, you guys can't see it, 98.1. Um, and then you would just replace the cap if you wanna check your temperature on your forehead. So definitely use the forehead setting for my son, but it is great for adults and babies. Okay, and last but not least is the Frida Baby Nail Frida. It's a kit that looks like this. It's an absolute must have. Um, we use this probably every few days because Kai's nails grow like crazy. And he's always either like scratching his face or he'll get He'll have like a scratch on his forehead or something. But anyway, so this is a set that has the clippers and it also has a little nail file included. So little clippers and then you have a little nail file. So I always bring this with us anywhere I go. Anyways, you guys, this brings us to the end of our short but sweet video. I uh, just wanted to share with you guys some items that I bring with us overseas for my son, some medications, some some tools, things like that, um, that I consider essential. You know, it's important to have these things on hand if he was to get sick or have some tummy issues or a fever or anything like that, I'm able to help him feel better and, and I know what I'm giving him. I'm able to read the box, read the directions. I do not speak Greek, I can't read Greek. I do speak Russian, Ukrainian, but it's not where we're going, so. So a little update for everyone. My son did get sick already and I've used Motrin, a thermometer, diaper rash cream, gripe water, and Pedialyte. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the future videos that I post. Find me on Instagram so we can be friends. My Instagram tag is at it's Mila with two underscores at the end. MelanieSuggs.com is my website and my blog, so feel free to check it out. And if there's videos that you want to see in the future, topics you want me to cover, reach out and DM me. I'm working on more content for you guys. And once again, thank you for coming to my channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.